Homework number six, biomolecules. Get your Cornell notes ready. So what is a biomolecule, Coach Fierce? Well, what do we do when we don't know a word? Hi, right, break it down. Break it down for me. No, no, Coach Fierce, no, no, like the word. Break down the oh. word. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, right. All right, so the prefix bio means life or living things, okay? Let's look at the word molecules. Molecules are two or more atoms that are bonded together. So if you look at this water molecule, why is it water? Oh, because it's got two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. This is a molecule. This is also a molecule. A lot of little atoms bonded together, whatever that is. <laughs> so what are the four biomolecules? Well, biomolecules are the molecules in living things, and there's four. The first one is carbohydrates. Then we got lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. We're not gonna talk about nucleic acids today. We're gonna to learn that in a few months. But these three, that's what you need to know. So the first thing you need to know are the sources. Where do the carbohydrates come from? You've got your simple carbohydrates, which would be like sugars, simple sugars, and fruit. And you have your complex carbohydrates, which would be your grains, your breads, mm. your potatoes. Mm. Mm and your vegetables. Mm. And vegetables have fiber, which makes you poop. The next thing you know are the functions of a carbohydrate. What's a function, Ms. Dolny? I am so glad you asked, Coach Fears. The function is the job. So what's the job of a carbohydrate? Well, it serves as a quick energy source. And the best way to remember this is thinking about your energy drinks or five-hour energies. They're filled with things like simple sugars and simple carbohydrates. So you drink them and you get fast energy really quick. Five hours. <laughs> for about five hours. And then you crash afterwards. So like eating candy, you get a sugar rush. And then that happens to you. So our next biomolecule are lipids. Okay. Let's talk about the sources of lipids. Let's. Where do they come from? You've got good lipids which come from like olive oil or coconut oil or meats or real butter. What's another word for lipid, Coach Fierce? Fats? Yeah, I would say so. Let's talk about your bad sources of lipids. Womp womp. French fries? Mm. Love them. Oh, love them. Especially McDaniels. Um, <laughs> it goes hard. Okay, and then your fried foods. Love that Again, too. Love it. Bad source of lipids. Now we need to talk about the function of lipids or the job of fats. Their job is long-term energy storage. And one of the ways I like to remember that is lipid starts with an L, long-term starts with an L. So let's talk about this. An example of long-term energy storage is like a bear during hibernation. Polar bears eat a lot of food. They get it really, really fat and they sleep for several months, if you will. And that fat, the lipids, help them maintain themselves during hibernation. So lipids, long-term energy storage. Your next biomolecule are proteins, okay? Let's talk about the sources of proteins. You've got meat, okay? You've got lamb chops, pork chops, chicken, big old baby back meat, hamburger, Okay, and then you have eggs and almonds and legumes or nuts. The functions of proteins. Proteins build muscles. They also produce something called enzymes. We're gonna learn about enzymes soon, but what you need to know is that they're responsible for the reactions that happen in an organism, like breaking down our food and things like that. Okay, so we've learned that biomolecules are found in our food. So how does this affect our body? Well, how many calories are in our food? We always hear people talking about calories, 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 calories. What is that, right? So we have something called the 494 rule. And what this means is that, for example, carbohydrates have four calories for every gram that you eat. Lipids or fats have nine calories for every gram that you eat. And proteins have four calories, again, for every gram that you eat. Four, nine, four. Oh, so what does that, tell me.
me how that makes sense. Break it down for me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, what? Tell us the example. Oh, okay. Now we can. Yeah. So, example, okay? Let's say that I eat 20 grams of protein in my protein shake. Obviously, every morning. Mm. That's real strong. So strong. So, let's say I eat 20 grams of protein in my protein shake. I'm going to multiply that by four because there's four calories in every gram, and I would get 80 calories of proteins in my protein shake. That's the 494. Our video. Make sure you finish your Cornell notes and rewatch the video if you have any questions. Talk to your teacher tomorrow if you need some help. Bye, molecules. Rule!